Hey folks, welcome to the Homeschoolers Co-op at the Hidden Oasis. Even though this video is also about our activities at the Hidden Oasis, I am actually recording this voiceover while sitting in beautiful Auroville. As the whole world faces this extremely difficult situation all around us, our quest for a holistic living continues with beautiful mornings, days, evenings and nights circling us and the weather cycling from hot summers to drenching rains. We start getting settled into the new reality of living on a farm surrounded by kids who are extremely eager to learn so much more while having the most fun. We continue our interaction with extraordinary creatures who visit us. nursery we built in our last video has grown into beautiful saplings that we transplanted into our front yard along the road. And also harvested our first set of flowers from them. We also got our first successful sample of bioenzymes which we are now using to replace all the chemicals we used for our floor cleaners, bathroom cleaners and dishwashers. The rains came a little late this year, but once they did, the sky became overcast with clouds. And once it started raining, it was relentless. Along with it came breathtaking rainbows. And scintillating waterfalls that filled up the lake we live next to. We also ventured into the lake for a swim and ride on a homemade boat. As we settled down to a new life in lockdown, we also start working on the two projects that we came here to execute. The first was practically implementing the multi-layer farming technique that we learned and talked about in the last video and the second was the ambition to build a learning space for the kids of the orphanage and of the workers and farmers who reside on the beautiful premises of the hidden oasis. Implementing the multi-layer farming techniques turned out to be way more difficult than we had anticipated due to the lack of availability of equipment as a result of the nationwide lockdown that is currently going on. Even then, against all odds, we did try to venture to make it work. We started off by cutting down bamboo sticks required to create the structure from around the farm.
Of course, we didn't do it all alone. We did get a lot of help from the workers who work here. It was a very time consuming and tedious process. Our plan was to first implement it on a 10 gunta, that is one fourth of an acre of land, to experiment with. For this, we needed about 200 plus tilts of bamboos, about a height of 11 to 12 feet each. Once the bamboos were cut, we laid them out, measured them, and finally cut them using the cutting saw to the right size. then painted to about 2 feet of length at the bottom, the part that would go inside the soil so that it would prevent decay. Then we undertook soil treatment which involved spraying the soil with a mixture of chuna powder and neem paint to prevent fungal growth. also added desi or indigenous cow dung to increase the fertility of the soil so that it can support the three or four layers of crops that we were planning to grow in that same patch of soil. Then started the back breaking process of creating the mandap or the structure that we are going to build for the multi-layer farm. This started with the demarcation of the area that we would use to build this farm, followed by marking the spots where the bamboo stilts would be planted. followed by digging up the spots and inserting the bamboos in those spots. followed by cutting of the wires to be used to secure them. Followed by setting up the border support system. And finally, the wiring mesh of the roof-like structure built all along the interior of the mandap.
while all this was going on in the middle of the hot summer that we had this year we were at times greeted by beautiful visuals on the sky we also prepared a number of organic natural fertilizers and pesticides without the use of any harmful chemicals which we would use to increase the fertility of the soil and protect the crops from pests over the period of the growth and harvest also engaged in open mixed and intercropping also a few things that we could not or did not implement one was that we could not implement the surrounding shade net as it was unavailable due to lockdown the second was that we did not implement the grass cover that had to be created over the structure as by the time we finished building the structure it was already rainy season and we did not have to worry about creating a 50% sun penetration environment we will be implementing these in the future as and when required or possible we are of course happy to announce that we were successful in our experiment and by the time i am recording this video we already have a very healthy growth of multiple crops growing in that part of our farm